it's now or never folks so we're gonna do this also let me preface this with i have no idea if it's in focus so i've been wanting to make this video for a, a year i'm now a sophomore in college and i wanted to do a video talking about my freshman year and i wanted to kind of just share my story because i really didn't hear a lot of people say that it was gonna be as lonely as it was before i got into freshman year um i kind of just heard like college is the time of your life like live it up i didn't hear a lot of like the downsides and i think probably because people overshadow it eventually with like the good but I wanted to make this video um, just for like the college freshmen that are a little lost right now maybe and um, need, <laughs> need to know that like what they're feeling is normal because I think I needed a video like this so here I go. Let me start with the fact that I by no means am at my dream school. I, I'm a film major and so obviously I was looking at like NYU and USC like big city schools so I knew in my heart like I probably not gonna be able to afford these schools and um the school I'm at now at UNCW I it was like not on my radar but someone some dad suggested it and was like this place has a good film program apply and I was like okay and up until i like applied got accepted and found out i couldn't swing any of the other places that i applied to did i actually go and tour it it's sort of like a last resort and i'm like praying like god give me a sign like if this is where i'm supposed to be let me know <laughs> holla at your girl and so i got to the tour and god provided everything that i thought i was looking for was just like redirected to UNCW because it's a quieter town, it's by the beach, it has a really beautiful downtown area, the people are so sweet. Um, I ran into one of my high school friends when I was on tour, but I was still, it was like still too expensive and I was like, God, I like this school a lot now, why did you bring me here if I can't afford it? And we talked to financial aid and they were like, sorry, like the deadlines have passed for all these scholarships and stuff, like we can't give you any more money and I was like, gotta just like put this on my heart like I want to go here and then it was like psych I can't afford this at all like I would need like a five thousand dollar a year scholarship to swing it um <clears throat> and there's you know all the deadlines are closed and I was just like whatever so I left the tour kind of defeated and like confused and one day I was just with Devin and Noah two of my good friends that brought me to Christ I got this call from UNCW and it's this lady from financial aid office and She's like, hi, this is so-and-so. Um, I'm calling to tell Katerina that she's been awarded a $5,000 a year scholarship. I was like, what? Like, that's exactly, like, to the dollar what I needed. I just, like, fell to the ground. I was like, thank you. Here I go. Off to UNCW. And I was like, everything's fine. Like, this is obviously where I'm supposed to be. I got here and it was so lonely. It was so hard. I didn't know a soul. My family's seven hours away from me and there's not really an easy solution if I'm like crying in my bed and need a hug. I knew that it was gonna be hard but I didn't know like what it actually felt like. In high school I had changed schools and I had been like the new girl. I was like I got this like college will be fine. But the difference between high school and college is that I didn't have that family and familiarity to come home to at the end of the day. I was so sure. I was like, I'm gonna transfer. I hate this place. I feel isolated. There's nothing to do here. I don't know if I want to be a film major. I tried so many different things to feel connected. Like I tried to get into the partying scene, which was not for me. I learned very quickly. And I tried to get involved like with my church and through community groups and I just found like Bible studies weren't good for me. Like I didn't connect with the girls that I was with. It felt weird. It felt forced. I didn't really give it a chance. I really just felt like this was not where I'm supposed to be. I was like, God, what are you doing? Like, why did you bring me here? Little did I know, things would really start to turn around second semester and a lot of the people that I met like this girl Caroline who never gave up on me she chose to disciple me since week one and she met up with me every week she kept trying to introduce me to people from crew and um, get me involved and I was pretty resistant like I didn't go to crew a lot first semester and she just kept pushing and pushing until she invited me to women's retreat and I was like sure girl that opened up my eyes so much because I met this group of strong Christian women who just support each other in a way that I've never seen girls support each other. At that retreat I actually met the roommates that I'm living with like right now but because Caroline didn't give up on me I broke through and found this like great community that I was missing out on for a whole semester of college and 
probably could have helped me a whole lot. But also I didn't pay attention to Sarah and the friends that she introduced me to and how she kept bringing me out to different like church events like because of that like we were okay friends at the beginning like we were like I like hanging out with you to I can pour my heart out to you and like I trust you with my life in just a year and like she was placed there right at the beginning and I had no idea like I had no idea the impact she would have it was actually at one of the events that we went to weekly that I was just in the middle of singing and I just started crying like I just had this overwhelming feeling I was like I need to get baptized <laughs> I was like, what? I didn't think about baptism before I came into the, like, you know, like, I wasn't walking in that night thinking, like, hmm, it's almost time, like, I'll probably get baptized soon. No. It was not on my mind. I was, like, questioning my faith a little bit still. And I had been putting it off for a while. Like, I had been thinking, like, considered getting baptized before. And I had pushed it off because of a guy that I dated that really hated Christianity. And I was like, you're right. Luckily, like, I came back around and God was like, it's time. And I ended up getting baptized on Christmas. And so, like, all these little things that, like, people in my life that led me to God. And, like, I had a great RA who I'm still dear friends with now. Um, and she really, like, she was there for me so much. Like, when I would just break down crying and, like, I'm having an existential crisis. She was like, girl, I'll get you ice cream. And so, I felt so alone. And I felt just like nothing would get better. But... The reality was is that I was surrounded by all of these loving people, especially as a freshman, like these people that are just willing to like reach out to you and get you connected because they have been there. So I just like advise you to keep your mind open to to keep meeting new people even if it feels dense and just wasteful you never know like what person could lead you down a great path and i'm not saying like you have to get baptized at college like um this is just my story and like how i found light in the darkness i guess religious or not like there are people if you keep your eyes open there are good people out there looking out for you it is only a season it might come back around i mean i'm experiencing loneliness again starting sophomore year but i know that it's gonna get better because it did last year you might feel the weight of the world you might feel so out of place you might feel like you made the wrong decision you're making the wrong friends you're in the wrong major i've been there like we we've all been there and one way or another it'll become clearer like what you're supposed to be doing where you're gonna go and that doesn't mean you can't explore or change majors as much as you want like go for it be brave but just also like try something new step out of your comfort zone get to know your town like that's something that made a huge difference for me like i found more gems like in this town and i started to love it it didn't feel so small anymore it didn't feel so isolated i got connected with more of like the life in the community and also the history of my um town like just learning more about where i am and how it came to be it wasn't so much about where i am but like how i addressed my situation it wasn't like am i in the right place or am i in the wrong place like i was asking the wrong questions it was like am i spending time with the right people am i opening my eyes up to opportunity am i connecting in the area that i was planted and if no maybe that is why you feel this way or maybe that is how you help yourself stop feeling that way but that doesn't mean it's not going to still be hard because it is going to be really hard and um don't settle like if you want good friends that support you and are there for you find them like keep looking till you find them don't settle with the partiers that don't really care about you and just want you there for pictures like if you want to party find people that are good to party with that you trust <laughs> and if you don't want to party find people that love board games and movies don't stop until you find what you're looking for i guess is what I'm trying to say but also it's not really about where you are it's just how you address your situation and I think that was something that's really hard to learn um but it's really important to learn and so I just wanted to share with you it's okay to be lost <laughs> I probably didn't eloquently explain my situation as well as I wanted to but I think this will touch someone <laughs> enough for it to be worth it my name's Kat uh I make some videos and I'm coming back. So cheers to that. Also this video, <laughs> it's probably really blurry. This tea is cold. <laughs>